John, congratulations on your performance today. I um, thought that was your best performance of the season. Um, set the tempo, scored a nice goal, um, everything around it. How did you feel today? Yeah, not really pleased. I thought that was probably the team's best performance. I don't know whether you meant me or the team. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I thought that was probably... <laughs> I thought um, the team's performance was really good, yet yeah, really satisfying on the front foot. Forward passing, forward running, loads and loads of chances created. So no, really, really satisfying day. I said to the manager that there was a lot of variation in the play that we maybe didn't have in games beforehand. Um, Livingston, a lot of side to side crosses, but today there was a lot of. I know this sounds silly, but just straightforward passes, direct passes towards goal, and the link up play in midfield was a lot better. Malik getting in a lot better positions as well. Did you find that obviously in the middle of it and setting the tempo and things as well? But did you find that there was more options for you, whereas before maybe not? Not, re not really, because if you, if you see games, other teams, how other teams set up, you'll understand how hard it is to break a two banks of five to hand when you're playing like a, a team against Livy. Don't get me wrong, I know we weren't great on the day against Livy, but it's completely different dimensions of passing and you can get them forward running lines and then forward passing lines when a team actually comes and, and, and pressures you and tries to have a go. Um, Livy had to go in a different way, of course, but... Um, it is tough to play get, uh, play against two banks of five, and it was another tough test for us today. But I thought we were a lot better today, a lot more tempo in our in our passing, our running, and our counter pressing. So no, yeah, good day. So I'm just gonna ask, does that set you up for the Ajax game? And again, another another challenge for us. What, what, the way we are set up probably be different to today, um, but more of the same. Hopefully, with what what we showed, pressing, running forward, because um, we know what the what the fans here want. We're we're not silly. We know what it takes to be Rangers players and. Like before today, it's not like we weren't trying to give that. We have been, of course, but um, it hasn't been quite clicking in today. And today, it clicked. John, do you prefer playing as a six or as an eight? Whereas today, obviously, you've got a lot more license to get forward. Uh, what do you actually prefer? Uh, honestly, I honestly don't mind either one. Um, I think I've played well in the six, and I think I've played well the last two games in, in the eight. So, honestly, don't mind as long as I'm playing on the pitch. I'm, I'm satisfied. I play right back, even centre half. I've enjoyed playing centre half for the gaffer, so I honestly don't care. Do you think players felt the pressure? Do you think players felt the pressure today? And if so, do you actually think you showed the real side of your character, the way you responded? Um, felt the pressure. If anything, I'd say we, we never felt the pressure today because I think we played a lot more free. I think I think we felt the pressure in, in other weeks gone by. This place sometimes can be an hard place to play when. Um, the fans get a little bit unsettled. It's it's no shine away from the fact it does. It's it's a, it's it's a big place and it's a massive fan base. Um, but it's about it's about characters and trying to stand up and and getting lifting the crowd and getting them getting them behind you. This place can be probably one of the hardest places for other teams to come and play football when the fan base is behind us. They can really be the the twelfth man for us. But sometimes when the things aren't going your way, of course they want to win and they want to win by two three goals, which which we should be in the league. Let's get let's get it right. Um, but today they were behind us and I thought and I thought we should, we played played for them and played with them. The manager also sorry. Celtic have a difficult game tomorrow, is there a need to give them something to think about tomorrow as well? Celtic have never been spoke about, not once. No, just me. Don't, we don't need to speak about Celtic. Celtic. Celtic, when we're not playing Celtic, there's no need for us to speak about Celtic. We're, the, we're four points behind Celtic, off our own back, nothing to do with Celtic. They beat us 4-0 away from home because we didn't perform. It's on us. It's not to do with them. So John's going to ask the manager never blames the players when anything goes wrong. Did you just feel he's all done the reaction that you showed today and, and yeah. probably the performance yeah. overall as well? Yeah, no, I think I think you're spot on. I think you're spot on. I think the players need to take a massive ownership of of the way we've been performing. The gaffer put a lot of work in and sends us out onto the pitch to play the style of play that we showed today. And he should, and that's how we want us to play every single week. And it's been on us that hasn't been out going out there and not performing the way he's wanted us to perform. So um, no, definitely on us, and, and we just need to keep it going now. What conversations have the players had, John, to make sure that you have duty ownership or anything taken particular? Yeah, yeah, there has. There's been there's been conversations and honest conversations as well of how we need to react and how we need to keep our standards and how we all need to look ourselves in the mirror and and get the performances back to where back to where it needs to be. Our league form before the Livy game, results-wise, was was okay. We we're in a good spot. Obviously, Champions League's different level. That's and we could have done better in the Champions League. Of course, we could, but that's a different level. The main priority has always been the league. And before the Livy game, we were in a good spot. Really, we we were fine. 
okay sometimes the performances weren't great but while results wise we were fine um, Liv Livy was a massive massive dip and a massive disappointment for everyone and there was honest conversations that got that got said and was needed as well so no John, today, today was a big lift on, in, in terms of performance level intensity that we've seen the past few weeks. There's been a lot of chat out there about motivation and, and, and attitude. To what extent is it an individual player's responsibility to, to get in the right frame of mind to play? To what extent is it the, the manager's responsibility to yeah. motivate the club? No, it's massive. I think everything comes from the individual. I, I said to the lads after the game against Libby, every you should turn up to training every day wanting to win in training. It's for me. Individually, you've got to have a drive in you that you, you just want to win, and that's it. That's in training, that's in possession boxes and training, five v fives and training, and especially on a Saturday. That I think it's all down to an individual's mentality, and and then you've got to come together as a squad and and, and put that together. John, just uh, touching, going back on what you were you were saying there about the the demands put on you from the, from the supporters and the, the attitude of you coming in, the players. There's um, there, there was a lot made of of uh, being. Eight, you know, having to start games quickly. You know, the manager was really, really animated in the touchline today, driving you forward. How how much has that been a, an issue over the the last the last few weeks? As in, as in what? Just the intensity. Yes. I think I think in the Champions League we had the intensity for the six, first sixty minutes. I think we just blew up a little bit the red card against Napoli. I think we were flying in the first sixty minutes in the two home games, Napoli and and Liverpool for the first sixty minutes in both games. Once we've conceded the first two against Liverpool, we absolutely crumbled. Obviously, there's no denying that against Napoli, the sending off changes the, changes the game. But before that, the intensity was was spot on. I thought we were brilliant. Um, in the Livy game, as I said, different dynamic. There's two banks of five. It's hard to get tempo. Obviously, you just won't know. But to, to break down two banks of five, especially when they got that early goal, it's really tough. Of course, don't get me wrong. We were nowhere near the level, nowhere near it. But it is tough. And then today. I think we are back to what we usually are at home, and as I said, the first 60 minutes in the Napoli and Liverpool game, the intensity was there, and as it was there today. John, uh, you're going up against uh, uh, sorry, but, uh, with uh, Malik Tomlin and the young lad, obviously incredibly talented. How big uh, an asset is he going to be going forward to break down the low block that you face week in week out in the Scottish Premiership, and also your role as a more experienced professional alongside him in that midfield? Yeah, exactly. He's massive and. Uh, again, he's a young kid, and people need to stick behind him. People need to to lift him up and encourage him, and and tell him how good he can be and how good he is, because he's uh, he's phenomenal. His talent is 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 honestly one of the best young talents I've seen. So people just need to stick behind him and stick with him and and lift him up rather than he has one bad game and people are talking about it, he needs to be dropped. It's, he's just people need to be lifting people up. There's a powerful start against Ajax. I think so, yeah. I think the gaffer spoke about a, a big start today, and I think in any game it's critical against against Libya. I know I've spoke about it a lot. It was just a disappointment for for me and the team, but we didn't start well, and I think a start in any game is huge. John, you looked emotional. Sorry, Nick, uh, when you scored that goal, what did it really mean to you when that hit the back of the net? A lot because we're working really, really hard behind the scenes. We want, we want to turn it round. The, the results that we've been getting, so now it, it did mean a lot. And just trying to turn it round, the little, the little rut that we're in. Um, I wouldn't say it's a crisis, but it's, it's a little rut. So just, yeah, just really, really want to, want to turn it round. Just a quick one from me. How is the ankle? Some fans have been concerned after hearing there was a slight injury that you said <laughs> on. Paddy the Baddies podcast, how's that? No, it's fine, mate, it's fine. Loads of, we always play with little niggles here and there, it's absolutely fine. 